Today we will be discussing. Just watch. In this video, I will talk about pelvic inflammatory disease, commonly known as BID. If you want to support this channel and see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified when a similar video is posted. Let's get back to where we were. BID is defined as an infection of the upper female reproductive tract organs. That includes endometritis, salpingitis, pelvic peritonitis, and tubo-ovarian abscess. Risk factors for the development of pelvic inflammatory disease include douching, multiple sexual partners, lower socioeconomic status, younger age between 10 to 19, and a history of previous pelvic inflammatory disease. The diagnosis is made clinically. During the examination, the patient will have uterine tenderness, adnexial tenderness, and cervical motion tenderness. Other findings that enhance the diagnostic specificity are oral temperature of 101.6 degrees Fahrenheit, purulent cervical or vaginal discharge, abundant white blood cells on saline microscopy of cervical secretions, and the presence of cervical gonorrhea or chlamydia. Most of the cases can be treated as outpatients. However, hospitalization is necessary in the following situations. If surgical emergencies like appendicitis cannot be ruled out, if there is tubo ovarian abscess, if the patient is pregnant, if the patient is having nausea and vomiting and cannot tolerate oral intake, or if the patient has failed outpatient therapy. The recommended outpatient treatment includes ceftriaxone intravenously with oral doxycycline and metronidazole. Intravenous treatment includes clindamycin and gentamicin. For videos like this, like and subscribe.